When you add a new site to your account, Google AdSense prompts you to create consent messages for collecting user data. You can either proceed with the setup or choose the Remind me later option. Later, you can access the Google AdSense dashboard, click on Sites, and select the newly added website to revisit the suggestion for consent messages. Alternatively, you can opt for Privacy Messaging. Here, click Manage to start crafting consent messages for GDPR compliance. I already have a consent message set up for another website, which shows that 45% of users consented when presented with the message. To create a European consent message for the new site, click the Create Message button. The consent message will appear on your website as shown. To replace site underscore name, click the Select Sites option. I have outlined the available options for creating consent messages. However, I will start the setup from the initial page where Google AdSense prompted me to create consent messages upon adding a new site. I will select the first option and click the Submit button. The consent message is generated, but I recommend customizing it. Clicking the Settings link will take you to the same Privacy Messaging page. Under the Settings tab, you can choose between Personalized Ads or Non Personalized Ads. I prefer Personalized Ads for a better match with user profiles and interests. In the next section, I selected only commonly used ad partners, but you can edit this to include custom partners. I choose not to select the Ad Transparency Controls option, as it may reduce my earnings. You can customize more settings here and save your changes. Next, I will select the Messages tab. You'll notice that the European Regulations message has been automatically created, but I need to customize it. Click on the link. You can modify options like default languages and additional languages for visitors. Click your site to add the site name, logo, or link to your privacy policy page. It's essential to draft a comprehensive privacy policy that details what data is collected and how it's used. If this seems daunting, you can check the description for the privacy page link on our Dozro site and adapt the text for your own privacy page. After making changes, click the Confirm button to see your updates reflected in the consent message. You can select the Styling tab to change the font and colors of the consent message on your site. If desired, you can display your logo over the message and modify the button's appearance, such as color or size. By choosing Manage Options, you can set default data preferences. Keep in mind that your website visitors can toggle their options on or off. You can also pre-select the toggle buttons for data collection and processing preferences for each ad partner, including the duration of cookies stored on user devices. 
It's advisable to turn on the toggle for all major ad partners to serve personalized ads, which may boost your ad revenue. If a visitor declines consent, a revocation link will be provided to delete tracking cookies stored on their device, as required by GDPR. After customization, remember to publish your changes. You can revisit and modify the consent message later. For example, I can customize the consent message for my Dozro website, as additional languages were not previously added. Google AdSense will automatically detect the language of your site visitors and display the consent message in their preferred language. After creating the consent message for European users, head to the Privacy Messaging page to create a consent message for users in U.S. states. I already have the California CPRA message set up for my Dozro site. To create a new message for my latest site, I will click the Create Message button. Then, hit the Select Sites button to choose the site for which I will create the new consent message. Additional languages can be added for U.S. states, and you can customize the styling and appearance options for the consent button. If you prefer not to display your brand logo on the message, simply turn off the toggle button. You also have the option to modify the color and size of the buttons on the consent message. Remember to publish your changes once you finish customizing. After you've crafted the consent message for U.S. states, head over to the Privacy Messaging page to create a message for ad blocking recovery. This message targets users who have ad blockers enabled, aiming to persuade them to disable these blockers on their devices. However, the success rate tends to be quite low. For instance, on my current website, the message was displayed to 20 users, but only two of them chose to turn off their ad blocking software. To begin, simply click the Create Message button. This message will be presented to users requesting permission to display ads on the site. Choose the site where you wish to show the ad blocker recovery message. You have the option to include or exclude specific pages. For instance, I've disabled ads on the home page, so there's no need to display this message there. Therefore, I should exclude the home page. You can adjust additional customization settings as needed. When I publish the changes, Google AdSense alerts me that the logo is missing. To resolve this, either upload your brand logo image or select the styling option and toggle off the button for the logo under header. After making these adjustments, you can successfully publish the changes. The consent messages have been successfully generated. If you click on the Sites tab, you will notice that the ads.txt file is absent from your site. For those using Squarespace, check out the Dozro YouTube channel. Simply search for ads.txt and watch our tutorial to effortlessly set up ads.txt on your website. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to Dozro for additional tips and tricks. Should you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.